This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance too with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see Unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. All right, places, please. The Daily Mix Show is on deck. Guitars plugged in. Drums ready to go. Chickens. Other animals. And action. This is the Daily Mix Show on The Rock with Taryn Daly and Steve Miggs. While listening to the Daily Mix Show, please refrain from any unnecessary finger gesturing. 99.9 KISW. Good morning, Rockaholics, and happy Monday. I hope everyone had a splendid weekend. Yes. You know, something very big happened yesterday. What happened? There was a holiday. It was National Hug Your Hound Day. And Steve Miggs, I just wanted to check. That's do, every day. Do you, did, you did make sure to hug them yesterday? Yes. Both of them. Yes. <laughs> Had to think about it. You know, because Lulu's a little grumpy. She's blind. She has no teeth. She sleeps. I mean, I was talking to my buddy, my buddy Matt, and he's just asking, because he loves old dogs. I'm like, well, I have the old dog for you. <laughs> she's 12 years old. She has no teeth. And she's grumpy as all hell. And she's blind. He's like, I already love her. And so she'll just sleep for like maybe 21 hours of the day, Aww. maybe 23. I'm not even positive. And anytime you try and wake her up, she just snaps at you. <laughs> but it's hilarious because she's trying to bite you, but she has no teeth. So she just gums you. I don't know. Yeah. So you give her a slightly less long hug than you would give DJ. Until she, until she yeah. warms up and then I'll give her a plenty of hugs. Yeah. <laughs> lots of hugs. Lots of hugs going for the pups. Well, if you forgot to do it yesterday, do it today, Rockaholics. And we are going to give you the Daily Migs download now. Knowledge is power. So give us five-ish minutes and we'll give you uh, some interesting stuff you can talk about at work. This is the Daily Migs Download. A.K.A. the DMD. Here's your daily dose of doings happening in the world. The DMD is brought to you by Palace Salon. Today is National I Love Food Day. And what better way to celebrate that than by heading over to the Washington State Fair where there is a crap ton of food to eat. And that's what we're doing after the show. A lot of food on a stick. Yes, all the food. Everything's deep fried. Ugh. Whatever you want, they've got it. And all of us here, we're going to be hanging out and we're going to be going down there. So if you see us over at the Washington State Fair in lovely Puyallup, Washington, in my own hood, be sure to say hi and say what's up to us because we're going to be there pretty much once the doors open at like 1030. My husband has already said, if you don't bring me back a scone, don't bother coming home. <laughs> <laughs> so we got we to be on a scone mission today. I, I think they have a couple of places there. That's, <laughs> they have a truck outside of the Washington State Fair, which is brilliant. They have a food truck for the, for the Fisher scones. That way, if you don't even want to go inside, oh. you can just buy them right outside of the Washington oh. State Fair. He's going to be so happy. You can't just get one, though. 
scones. Yeah, you gotta get like the, you gotta get the baker's dozen. Okay, deal. Let's go. All right, eat all the scones. <laughs> it's also wonderful weirdos day, and also we'll be celebrating that over at the Washington yes. State. And also every other day of our lives. So if you're up today off, I'll take the day off. Come find us at the Washington State Fair. We're looking forward to hanging out. And I think for a few of us, not not for me, but I think for a couple of us, it's the first time ever going to the fair. No? Danny, you're... For, no? I, yeah, I've been before. I've been, like, in my in my youth. It's in been a youth? long time. Yeah. It's been a long time. All right, so, well, then it's not that. <laughs> that's okay. That's all right. Hey, I don't care about anything going on in the world today because your Seattle Seahawks are undefeated. Thank you, Kenneth Walker. Rushed for 103 yards, had a touchdown. What a freaking game. I mean, it was a tale of two halves for sure. That first half, well, not on defense. Defense was great the entire game. The offense, that was gnarly to start things off with a sack and then an interception. And then I've never seen a game where there were two safeties. I mean, the offense and the special teams just gave the Denver Broncos seven points. It was a tough go, but they end up winning. So 26 to 20. And it was the first win for our brand new coach, Mike McDonald, who was looking jacked on the sidelines. And here's Mike McDonald talking about the big win. Great win. Started just like we wanted it to start. <laughs> Drew it up that way. Just wanted some adversity there. but um, I love this guy already <laughs> cracking jokes. He's awesome. Yeah, I'm obviously going to clean all that stuff up in the first half. But tell you what, I mean, just being on the sideline, being with our crew, the guys were poised. Nobody batted an eye. Uh, knew what we needed to do to win the game. Stuck to the plan, made some adjustments, and just kept playing. I thought they played really, really hard. So I'm proud of the guys. There's a lot of things that obviously we're going to want to attack over the next week, getting ready for New England. And um We'll do that, you know, so hopefully we'll make a huge jump from game one to game two. Yeah, it's not a bad thing to have to have a lot of things to fix when you already when you won the game as well. It makes yeah. it a little bit easier to handle. But it was a yeah, that first half was rough oh, though. Touch and go. Yeah, and then here's uh, Gino <laughs> Smith after the game talking on the sidelines about how that game went. Gino, it was a bit of an uneven start to this game. How'd you guys get settled and get going? Yeah, I think that was about as ugly as you could start a game for us. Um, I just love him. Yeah, I'll leave it right there. I just love his honesty. He's just like, yeah, man, things were effed. We Let's got it together, it. though. That was awesome. <laughs> Up next, taking on the New England Patriots in New England. They had a big win yesterday, beating the Cincinnati Bengals. Not many people were expecting them to do that, but it's early in the season. There's always a lot of weird things that are going to happen. Uh, we'll talk to Mitch Levy later today at 720 to get his analysis on the game. And like I mentioned, the Seahawks are playing next week on Sunday, 10 a.m. Well, not only did Mike McDonald win his first game as our head coach, but he also announced that he and his wife, Stephanie, are pregnant with their first child, a boy, due in September. That's awesome. So awesome. Stephanie, she was a former NFL cheerleader. She met Mike back in 2014 when they were both working for the Ravens, and they, I guess, technically kind of are becoming a family of four because they have a four-year-old English lab named Bruce, who's going to be a big brother. I love very that the, exciting. I love that they needed to include that in the story. <laughs> like, hey, the, the child will be joining their lab, Bruce. <laughs> also... I love that he named his dog Bruce. I love an animal with a human name. It's so great. I wanted I wanted to get a boy dog and name it Steve just to make things weird for whenever anyone comes. I'm like, what's your dog's name, Steve? Like Miles. Miles had a dog named Miles. I think that's genius. <laughs> hey, are we also genius? Your Seattle Mariners, they won again. They won a series. That was pretty nice. Randy Rosarena and also uh, Jorge Polanco hit two run home runs. And the Mariners scored five runs in the first inning. They ended up beating the St. Louis Cardinals and winning the series. They beat them 10 to 4. So that was pretty awesome to see. They're off today. They host the Padre, Padres starting tomorrow. So hopefully the winning ways continue for our Seattle Mariners. As far as weather, uh, 71 degrees. It's going to be cloudy. That is the DMD. And that's what's up. Well, I was very busy over the weekend at Bike MS, but my family received some incredible news leading up to the big event on Friday. They heard? They heard? They heard that I won the DOA <laughs> Pure Title over in Portland, Oregon? Yes. I am so glad that your parents and your family care that much about my wrestling endeavors. They're very dialed into yeah. your life, Steve Miggs. Well, it was that and then something else. And I'm going to tell you all about it at 620. The Daily Mix Show. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance too with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. 
Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. Bike MS was over the weekend, but before the weekend even really got underway, on Friday, my mom and I were waiting at the bus stop, waiting for Barrett to get off of the bus on his first day of kindergarten. So we were already a little bit emotional, but then my mom shared some really great news with me. Hi, Mom. Hi, hon. We've had a big day so far today. Very big. Barrett went to kindergarten on the bus. I know. And now we're waiting to pick him up for the bus. Woohoo! And then we were getting ready for Bike MS in the middle. And you had an appointment today. I did. To go over some scans. Yes. And what happened when we went over the scans today? My doctor gave me the thumbs up and said, see you in a year. No so, drugs. No drugs. Um, and I think what, you were a little behind on your scans. About six years. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was one of the reasons she was hey. so worried because it had been so long. I love your mom. That's the most dude thing ever that your mom has ever done, I think. <laughs> I, you know, I should probably go to the doctor every year, but uh, six years kind of comes and goes fast. <laughs> and here I am beating myself up that I've been over a year for my yearly physical. I'm right? like, oh, it's been almost two years. I got to get on that <sighs> thing. And your mom's like, six, six years. years. Thank goodness, though. <laughs> it's okay. Sometimes things happen, but uh, we got good news that my mom's scans didn't reveal anything um, yes. concerning with her MS. So we're celebrating and we're very happy. And having this um, good news come right before bike MS starts is even better. Celebrating with coffee now, but that's going to change very soon. Yeah. Let's get the wine open. We okay. Did. We did. Spoiler oh, alert. <laughs> what a, that, I, if there was ever a reason to celebrate. So it, tell me, like, I don't, I don't, un, I don't know the world as much as you do. Obviously, it's sure. very near and dear to your heart, but it's becoming near and dear to my heart because of you guys. So what does that mean? So there's lesions that can form on someone's brain, their spinal cord that um, are connected with multiple sclerosis. And when my mom's scans were checked on Friday, there were no new lesions, no new, n- no new developments that would make them think that she needs to change her you know, treatment plan or anything like that. So it was a very, very big day. And of course, because she had not been in in six years, she thought for sure she bad was going to get bad news. And it was literally good news. And that's a great way to go into the weekend when you're doing all that for, for that cause. To go in with that kind of on the back of your mind, that's got to feel good. The timing was absolutely wild. Like, it, it just could not have been cooler. And we ended up, we raised more money than we ever have this year. The KISW team was on fire. So to have that, you know, kind of extra fuel for me going into the weekend was really cool. It's funny you say money because like that, I watched that video and then I also watched the video of you biking. <laughs> and there's Barrett on his bike, uh, your son, who's just turned five, and he's on his bike biking next to you. And... Not only did it open up the waterworks for me, but it also opened up my wallet. And I know I already donated to the cause. Thank you. But I was like, I'm donating. And my wife's like, did you just donate again to Terrence Charity? I'm like, I did. Watch this video and you'll know why. Oh, my god! Because it was just like, it just hit me hard. Like, I was just so happy to see how happy you and your mom were. But then it was the, the double whammy. I was like, you freaking jerk. You gotta have <laughs> dang son on his bicycle. I crossing will, the line with you. That was such a cool moment. And I was like, I got I got to donate again. I'll use him for donations anytime. I will just. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's, it, it is worked. cool. It worked. It is cool for like the kids to kind of, 
get to understand like why we do it, you know, yeah. and, 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 you know, he doesn't really understand what MS is. He knows my mom has it. He knows his grandma has it, but he doesn't know what it really means. He just knows that people that walk with canes like my mom mm. are helped by these, by these funds that are raised. So it was really, really cool for him to get to like have that, you know, full circle moment. And people can still donate. It's, Absolutely. I mean, I, it's because the, the, the bike MS stop, you know, finished over the weekend doesn't mean people can't keep donating. And, and we have stuff up at KSW.com. Yep. It's up at KISW.com. We actually, we, we raised our goal. Our goal was fifteen thousand dollars. We raised eighteen thousand dollars. I say, why not go for that's twenty? Why not go yeah. for twenty thousand dollars? Let's, let's rockaholic. Yeah, and thanks to everybody who has supported. It's been really magical to like you know just see an awesome community of people come together to help out. Yeah, I mean, it brought a massive smile to my face. That was such great news for me, just as an outside, not outside, but you know what I mean. So I can't even imagine what the weekend was like for you and your entire family. Oh, yeah, shout a lot out to of, your mom. A lot of wine celebrations. <laughs> it was wonderful. Thank you again for donating, Steve. Now that was seriously some good news for me. So I want to hear from the. Rockaholics. 206 803 Rock. Tell us about your good news. It could be something really huge like my mom's good news, or it could be something totally ridiculous in the form of good news. But what is that good news? 206 803 Rock. We'll take your calls after Pearl Jam. The Daily Mix Show. It can be something huge or it can be something completely ridiculous. But what is the good news? We want to hear all about it. 206 803 Rock. Lisa from Tacoma, you are an MS warrior like my mom. What is your yeah. good news? Well, my good news is that I had my scans last week and they also came back with no new lesions. Woo! And I am super happy. <laughs> That is so wonderful to hear, Lisa. Congratulations on the good news. Yes, thank you. And congratulations to your mom. Thank you. Much love, my friend. Did you, oh, wait, Lisa, did you celebrate the same way that Taryn and her mom celebrated by drinking a ridiculous amount of wine? Uh, tequila. Yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> That's my girl right there. <laughs> 206 803 Rock. It can be something huge or it can be something ridiculous. What is the good news, Rockaholics? Uh, so it's said mine is pretty ridiculous, but it was this moment during the Seahawks game. Smith, show the wheels. Smith still going. Jado in. <laughs> Touchdown. Yeah, he said Gino Smith running in for the touchdown. It was fun to watch the old man do it again. Oh, I know. The well, old man. The old man. It sucks. <laughs> it was funny during, like, the press conference, and even a few other people were asking, they're like, Gino's got some wheels still. And even Gino's like, yeah, man, I was putting a lot of work into getting, like, my legs ready for these kind of things. Oh, but of course. That was that was awesome because this th that first half was just so infuriating uh, as far as when it came to the offense. Oh, yeah. So to see him have that moment, you're like, okay, Maybe they, maybe they got to figure it out. And then, no, they didn't really have to figure it out yet. And then come back during halftime, and somehow the team made adjustments. But we'll talk more about that with Mitch Levy. A win is a win, Steve. Oh, dude, I ain't complaining. <laughs> <laughs> I, when that game ended, I was in a good mood. Same, same. Yeah. Somebody did not text him when the fireworks went off after the Seahawks game. Like Migs, I went quickly to my ring cam app <laughs> and saw all the people freaking out about the explosions and gunshots. LOL. Does this just happen mostly in Puyallup, or are there other communities where people are blowing off fireworks when the? I feel like a lot of people in the South End. I I, I posted it on my on my because that's just my favorite thing now is to see how soon until after the fireworks go off will we start getting the next door app, the ring cam app of people freaking out because they think an explosion went off and everyone's just like, no, the Seahawks just won the game. Yeah, get used to it. This is going to happen on Sundays. Act like you live here, right? <laughs> Uh, somebody said, uh, 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 where is it? Uh, oh, yeah. I just finished 3D printing my fully working guitar controller for a PC game called Clone Hero, which is like rock band, but totally free with custom songs. I'm able to play that brand new Linkin Park song. So good. What? Okay, we got to come over and see that. So yeah, that's so he 3D printed a fully working controller. That's, that's insane. So you still had to make all the mechanic, like the electron, the electronic part. Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah were you just doing a robot? What was that? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know how else to <laughs> describe what I'm saying because clearly I know nothing about this. So I'm like, you do stuff with your hands where it makes it work besides a 3D printer. So cool, man. 3D printers already, like, I don't understand how that even works. No. And I've watched plenty of videos. I'm like, I still don't get it. <laughs> I still don't get how you're able to make stuff like this. Rockaholics, who would like a shot at beating Steve first thing Monday morning right out of the gate? He is currently 253 wins, 73 losses, and 43 ties in 2024. 206-803-ROCK. We will play Beat Migs at 650. The Daily Migs Show. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on What's in Your Podcast queue. 
And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance too with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance too with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see Unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. The Daily Mix Show presents the most popular radio game on this side of the speaker. Let's play Beat Mix. Beat Mix, don't be a loser. to beat Migs. I know Jeff from Puyallup is. Jeff, are you there? Yes, ma'am. I'm Sarah, your host, and it's time for you to get out of here, Steve. Bye-bye. For those playing at home, Jeff has 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. You can pass all you want, but you only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? Yes, I'm playing today to avenge my friend Flash's loss. He played two Mondays ago. Let's go. I love this. (laughs) Where can you find the Empire State Building? New York. Correct. What band sang about being an Eggman and a walrus? Uh, The Beatles. Yes. What restaurant has used the slogan, eating good in the neighborhood? 
Uh, Applebee's. Yes. What show does Anya Taylor Joy play a chess prodigy? Uh, uh, pass. Big uh, Bang Theory. I don't know. No. Emily Armstrong is the new lead singer of what band? Oh, uh, Linkin Park. Correct. Playground of Europe is the nickname of what country? Europe. Oh, wow. Italy, France. No, no. Uh, Russia. No. What 1997 biopic did Jennifer Lopez star in where she plays a singer who tragically was killed? Oh, Selena. Correct. How many sides in total would three triangles and three rectangles have? Wow. <laughs> three triangles and three rectangles. Uh, 12 uh, is not my answer. Uh, and three rectangles. Uh, 24. No. Uh, uh, Three six. Uh, give me a sec. Twenty one. Correct. Gee, <laughs> oh, Jeff, I loved that effort. Oh my gosh! You know what? Ouch. Nothing like it. Like a fun math question to wake your brain up, oh right? God. Right or at the something. end there too. Oh. Just full panic mode for me too. I was like, oh god. <laughs> Well, Jeff, Steve's brain is going to explode on that one. You ended up getting six correct. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just glad you got that question right. That was wild. Wow, you really were working it there. Your brain was going a mile a minute. Yes. <laughs> I think Steve's will do the same, and he, and he probably won't get it right. So, <laughs> ouch. Steve, are you ready? Oh yeah. Where can you find the Empire State Building? In New York. Yes. What band sang about being an Eggman and a walrus? Oh, I was about to say the BC Boys, but it's the Beatles. Correct. What restaurant has used the slogan, eating good in the neighborhood? Um, uh, Applebee's. Yes. Woo. What show does Anya Taylor-Joy play a chess prodigy? Is that the... A Queen's Gambit? Yes! Yeah. I Emily Armstrong that. is the new lead singer of what band? Oh, Linkin Park. You know it. Playground of Europe is the nickname of what country? Italy? No. Uh, Greece? No. France? No. Mm. What 1997 biopic did Jennifer Lopez star in where she plays a singer who was tragically killed? Oh, Selena. Correct. How many sides in total would three triangles and three rectangles have? <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-one. What? Yes. Uh, Lamar Jackson is the starting quarterback for what team? The Baltimore Ravens. Yeah. The streaming service Peacock first launched in what early two twenty twenties year? Twenty twenty-one. No. Twenty twenty-two. No. Twenty twenty. Yes. Uh, uh, I, I wouldn't give that to uh, me if I was you. Well, it doesn't matter because you got eight correct, which is a win. Eight to yeah. six. Yeah, Terry. Jeff. <laughs> Good news. Not I, only is I, Flash I, a loser, but you're a loser too. Oh no. I'm so that sorry. Was the opposite of what I wanted to do for my friend. <laughs> sure was. Good well, news is Jeff and Puyallup will be in Puyallup later today because all of us on the show. We're going to the Washington State Fair. Oh, we'll be there yeah. right when it opens. I'm or so, close to it. <laughs> so bummed that it's not called the Puyallup Fair. I know. Oh, Puyallup. Like, that was so, it was so I good. I get it's the biggest fair, and you want to kind of embrace all of Washington. But, but you're it's right. in Puyallup. The, the Puyallup Fair just sounded better, and the jingle was so much cooler. So much cooler. Puyallup. Playground of Europe is the nickname of what country? Switzerland. Oh. I know. I wonder why. Because they got chocolate and cheese. And skiing, I think. I lawns. thought it'd be like Amsterdam. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Okay, it makes sense now. You're really selling right. it. Yeah, You're really mean, selling it. Also, now that we talk about it, it is the playground of Europe. Yeah, Steve, you, Steve, you missed uh, Sarah breaking Jeff's brain with the with the triangle question. So I think that oh, I'm you. actually very impressed as well that you got that so quick. So I, quick. I, I, I was I got lucky. I mean, I, I was like, I think this is it, but I was like, oh, it's either 19 or 21. I don't know how you did that so fast. And Jeff was thinking out loud. Yeah. So I thought you were going to do the same, and then you were silent and you got it. Like a silent assassin. <laughs> Congrats, you won. <laughs> Impressed. KISW presents the Halloween Hullabaloo on October 13th at the Show Wear Center in Kent with Godsmack and Hailstorm. And something very exciting is happening this Friday. If you sign up to donate blood through Bloodworks Northwest at the Show Wear Center, you're going to be entered for the chance to win tickets to the show. And not just any tickets, VIP tickets. Oh, come hang out with us. Heck yeah. So go sign up at KISW.com. And thanks for donating blood. I believe in this area we need a 1,000 people per day to keep up with the demand to donate blood. So let's get after it, Rockaholics.
Yesterday, the Seahawks won their first game of the season. And Migs, something happened during the broadcast that really confused you. And it wasn't the back rub from Marshawn Lynch, although that was that was weird and awesome at the same time. But there was just something strange that happened. I want to see if I'm... I'm just a weirdo, or if you guys are picking up on what I'm throwing down as well. All right, we're going to find out if it's weird or not after Stone Temple Pilots. The Daily Mix Show. The Seahawks won yesterday 26 to 20 in the season opener against the Denver Broncos. And man, it felt so good to have football back. It was so much fun to watch the game. It was a little infuriating at first, but it was exciting to see our defense. Oh my goodness. That, that that got me excited for the season to see how well coached up they were by the new coach, Mike McDonald. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I was doing a lot of packing up and, and, and organizing this weekend, so I didn't get to watch much of the game. So, Steve Miggs, you need to tell me about this. Something Perfect. strange happened Something strange happened during the game that kind of confused you a little bit? Yes. So, I, I, wanna, I want you to hear the audio and see if maybe my hearing is messed up, which it could be. I've been playing in band and playing music my entire life. So, maybe I'm hearing it weird. And I don't know if, Danny, you picked up on this. I know Danny was watching the game because Danny and I... We are texting the entire time the game is happening, and yeah. typically we get pretty unhinged at times. It's, it's very like the high of highs, the low of lows. One minute like, F this team, I hate this team. The next minute I'm I freaking love the defense on this team. Like, we are <laughs> such losers. Yeah. I love that. Like, if you read our text, you'd be like, you two just need to, like, put your phone down. Yeah. <laughs> but there was a part during the game where one of the announcers said something about one of our players, and I... I don't know if I heard it right. Here, listen and let me know if you if you notice this. For that time, Gino again feeling some heat, but he still is able to deliver it to Tyler Lockie. Lockie? Lockie. Maybe that's the nickname. I've never heard that before. Lockie. And, and I know like the announcers they screw like they keep calling DK DJ, which I, I think is funny. But so I'm like, Lockie? And then later on in the game. And he's at hundred yards exactly after his eighteenth one of the day. This time it's Lockie. So I'm like, is it an accent or is it something? And I'm like, no, I think this guy just kept calling him Tyler Lockie. What if they're really good friends uh, outside of, you know, the game and, and that's his nickname for him? <laughs> He's able to deliver it to Tyler Lockie. <laughs> Tyler Lockie. Lockie. Guy's been playing in the league for over 10 years. Has been I like. Know. I, mean, I know he's very underrated. He kind of flies under the radar. He's a very chill dude. He's not like the kind of guy that's like that commands all the attention on him. But low-key been one of the best wide receivers in the NFL, definitely for the Seahawks, for the last decade. I mean, did you see anyone on X bring this up or anything like that? Like, was here's, he getting called out? Here's my thing. When I watch the Seahawks, I stay off social media. Oh, yeah. Because people are just wait. I mean, Danny and I are unhinged <laughs> on our text chats. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll go back, and it's just, it is fun to go back and read some of the tweets that people put in social media posts that people put up there before the game is over, like how much they hate the team, or oh, this God. is awful, or they suck, or I miss Pete Carroll already, and I'm like, man... You guys, there's a very short leash on this coach on, on, on Seahawks social media. Yeah, where did, way to bring the room down, man. I definitely think the one of the stranger things was while you're watching the game, I was like, who's this guy giving Coach McDonald a back rub? And it turned out it was Marshawn Lynch. And it wasn't like during halftime or in between quarters. I think it was in the first quarter while they were still playing. He just get up, gets up behind Coach McDonald, just starts rubbing his shoulders and just starts having a conversation while he's trying to coach the game. Oh, I'm excited. And then afterwards, uh, Mike, Mike McDonald was asked about it during the press conference. Yeah, I've never had a former player talk to me mid-game. It's pretty cool. I was like, you know, we have like another three quarters to play. But just to see those guys around, I mean, it's awesome. I mean, he's uh, he's one of my favorite players of all time. I mean, he's He's incredible. Yeah, he's funny. He was cool. Like, he came out right behind me, and, and I found myself talking to him as they were taking the fields. Like, oh, shoot, I need a call on first down. What did he say? On a side, he's talking about our defense. Is that your first in game necro? Is that what he did? Yeah, I guess I blacked out. <laughs> I love his sense of humor. Mike McDonald's great. Honestly, though, if I could like have my massage therapist be a former NFL player, that would probably be great because those are some those are some good strong hands. As long as he keeps it on the shoulders and you know doesn't do uh, grabbing my ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> that might make it awkward during the game. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Well, speaking of the Hawks, we are going to recap the game with the host of Mitch Unfiltered. Mitch Levy will join us at seven twenty. The Daily Mix Show. The Seahawks had a victory over the Broncos yesterday, 26 to 20. And joining us now is the host of Mitch Unfiltered. You can hear that podcast wherever you get your podcasts or at MitchUnfiltered.com. Good morning, Mitch Levy. Go Hawks. Mitch. Macy, where have you taken showers, sir? Uh, Please. 
lots of places and hockey locker rooms here at the station wherever wherever there's a shower i'm taking a man really yeah Do people give you odd looks like what why are you in our showers yes yes especially when it's people i don't know absolutely <laughs> i keep the doors you know which before we get to go anywhere with the seahawks i feel like i need to start yeah. things off on the right foot so hold on one second you know uh -oh. Uh -oh. Gotta, uh -oh. gotta, I, as an adult i have to put uh -oh. on a jersey there we go. Now I'm ready to do this segment. Oh. It's a Mariners jersey. What? Turn around. What do, you, what do you got on the back? Let me see. Oh, J.P. Crawford. Why yes. J.P. Crawford? Of all the people to go with, why J.P. Crawford? Because I like the number three and he has tattoos like me. <laughs> I'm a very mature man when I pick my favorite players there, Mitch. I'm glad that you're very mature, Migsy. Hey, we're one step closer. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance, too, with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates – Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. To 12 and 5, Migsy, aren't we? Aren't we close? I'm telling you, man, everything's great. It's all sunshine, ponies, and rainbows right now here. Oh, my God. It wasn't as stress-free as we would have liked, Taryn, on Sunday with the Seahawks' 26-20 to 20 victory over the Broncos, but we'll take it. And as I always used to say on the radio when I was on the radio, not with you guys, but when I was on the radio doing my own thing, I used to say that the, last, the, the second week in January when the season's over, there's only one thing that's going to matter about the September 8th game between the Seahawks and the Broncos. Literally only one thing that will have any relevance, and that is – did they win it or did they lose it? No one will care. We might remember, but no one will care. And there is no significance to whether they played well or played poorly in a win over the Broncos. And by the way, I would say that if they won 112 to nothing yesterday, I would say the same thing. On September, whatever it is, I'm sorry, on January like 5th or 6th or 7th when the season ends, the September the 8th game, the September the 15th game, the September the 22nd game, all that matters is did you win it or did you lose it? doesn't matter how you played. Mitch, I, I, I was excited to talk to you because there's that part during the game where you know they go into halftime, you're like, man, this offense is just the offensive line. Everything about this is just beyond frustrating. And then, unlike the Seahawks of the last few years, they made adjustments. And I was like, what team is this? This is amazing. They actually made adjustments. Yeah, I don't remember you complaining about this last year when Pete Carroll was the, the coach that they weren't making adjustments at halftime. Why is it that I'm now hearing you a year later complaining about last year? Why wouldn't you complain last, like year complain last year? You last year. never complained. All you said was, oh, they're going to win next week. Oh, they're going to win the following. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love the we were oh, we, we weren't watching oh, the game. Oh, at man. I wasn't making I'm an adult man wearing a jersey. This is all you said last year. <laughs> 
now a year Clearly, later. You have selected now a year hearing. Later, big shot over there, Taryn. Big shots over there. Hey, we made adjustments. We never used to make it. You never said we never made adjustments at halftime last year. I absolutely did. You just choose not to listen to me. No, you're a, you're just a, a running front runner is what you are. And uh, yes, the answer to the question is they made adjustments. And by the way, I think if you want to double down on your thought about the adjustments at halftime yesterday, you could say this. That remember who the new offensive coordinator is? Ryan Grubb. The new off- Ryan Grubb and where he came from. The University of Washington and what he really likes to do, and that is throw the ball, throw the ball, and the pass kind of is featured. It sets up the run as opposed to the other way around. So this was against a little bit his nature, I think, at halftime to come out. We knew it was going to happen because when the when the when the uh, the sideline reporter interviewed Mike McDonald going to halftime, I don't know if you caught that interview when you were frustrated. And you were saying to everybody around you, Pete Carroll never made adjustments at halftime, even though you never said that when Pete Carroll was the head coach. My blind um, dog was listening to me complain the entire time. Okay, well, he said to the sideline reporter on the TV yesterday, when she asked, what do we do to help out the offensive line, who's just terrible? I mean, what do we do? And his answer was, we run the ball. We come out in the second half and we run the ball. And they came out in the second half anti Typical Ryan Grubb. They ran the ball. Kenneth Walker was great. The offensive line played a lot better. They ran, 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 went down the field. But here, here's the here's the interesting thing. Did you think at halftime, and of course I know the answer to this question, why Mitch Levy even asked this question of Migsy, but I will. I'm smelling I'll sarcasm. I'm smelling sarcasm I'll, from there. I'll fall for your <laughs> freaking trap. But at halftime when you were super frustrated with the Seahawks and they were trailing, was there a thought in your mind they were going to lose the game? They were going to lose this football game and be 0-1? No, of course not. I knew they were going to win. <laughs> the eternal <laughs> offense. Was crazy. The defense was playing so fierce. Aaron, how frustrated was he if he knew they were going to win anyway? That's a, What mildly, was the mildly. level of frustration? <laughs> Mitch, no. you can follow him at Mitch underscore Seattle, and you can check out Mitch's podcast, Mitch Unfiltered. Mitch, we do have some more questions for you about the game, plus some other craziness Aaron. that happened in the NFL. So we okay. will be back with Mitch after Radiohead. The Daily Mix Show. This morning we have been chatting with Mitch Levy, the host of Mitch Unfiltered. You can hear it wherever you listen to your podcasts or at MitchUnfiltered.com. And Steve Miggs, we're talking about the Seahawks victory 26 to 20 over the Broncos. And you have a question for I Mitch. do. I do. Mitch, I have a ridiculous question for you. Oh, there's a shot. Go ahead. <laughs> It's almost as ridiculous as thinking that adults can't wear jerseys, but it has something to do with jerseys as well. I didn't say they can't wear jerseys. You just got to accept the consequences. What are the consequences? Well, there's a lot of people out there that think, hey, just, you know, you're you're 90 now. You don't need to be wearing a jersey. (laughs) But go ahead. What's your question? I do feel like I've aged. I feel like I've I've turned 90 just by talking to you. You've been (laughs) aging as this entire segment's going. All right. So Tyrell Dodson, who I thought had a great game, What's up with number zero, though? Well, Devin Bush wore zero last year, I think. He was a linebacker for the Seahawks. Again, you didn't notice that last year. I did. I'm talking about right now, 2024, Mitch. And I don't know why. I don't know why. You know, zeros and ones and, you know, linebackers, it was always reserved. You were always reserved for like 50, 51, 52, 53, especially inside linebackers. I can't. I can't answer the number question, why number zero, but that's a good question for him. And I'm sure if you call Seahawks PR, call Dave Pearson and say, hey, Boom, we'd like to now. have Terrell Dotson on. And the most hard-hitting question we're going to ask him is, <laughs> yes. why are you wearing number zero? That's the type of interviews I think the Seahawks really like. So I'm sure Dotson will be in the very next morning. <laughs> well, especially but, when Blitz is still wearing zero. I mean, how do you have your mascot oh, wear zero I, at the same that time the as the player? Really? Yes. really, that's the problem. Blitz is that you don't want Blitz and the linebacker wearing the same the same number. Hey, listen. I'm confused on uh, who's who. We, we've got to, We've got to tip our caps to Terrell Dotson and the entire defense, yes. don't we? I mean, for as scary as the offensive line played, especially in the first half, the defense looked really, really good. I think I said to you guys last week, maybe it was on Mitch on Filter. I'm sure I said it a, a version of it to you. I felt like the opponent yesterday was the softest possible landing for the Seahawks. I mean, it was almost a must-win situation in in the way that 
just to keep community involvement and excitement around the the new regime, Mike McDonald, the new coach. They had to win the game yesterday. Not mathematically, obviously. It's only right. the first game of the season. But, you know, the Denver Broncos come in. They're not a good – they're, they're not going to be in the playoffs. Their offense is probably going to ultimately be – 25 to 32 down near the very bottom they're starting a quarterback who's just out of college he's never started a game here with the extra excitement of the of the 12s it's opening day you could not lose that game and i i really felt like and it's the reason i asked you my silly question which was did you feel like they were ever going to lose at halftime i never felt and i'm the most passionate pessimist that there is <laughs> i think they're going to lose every game they could be up 45 nothing at halftime and mitch levy thinks they're going to somehow give up 47 in the second half and lose but there was never a moment either going into the game or then watching how the game was played in the first half that i thought that ultimately the seahawks wouldn't win the game because it was just that kind of an, an opponent. It was a perfectly, you know, obviously it's it's by chance. They didn't pick the opponent. But but I thought the Denver Broncos and what they had to offer yesterday was the perfect first opponent. But having said that, the defense, which we all waited to see because this Mike McDonald is one of the young defensive – the reason they brought him in here was because of his defensive mentality. He had them blitzing from different – Different angles. He was disguising the blitz. They were aggressive. They were fast. The DBs were fast yesterday. The safeties, I thought, both played a really good game, and I've been concerned about the safeties. I think defensively there's reason to be really optimism. You just have to take it all with a little bit of a grain of salt because of who the opponent was. But, hey, 1-0, and we'll take it. We're off to New England Foxborough next week to face a Patriots team, by the way, that was supposed to be terrible. And yeah. all they did was go to Cincinnati and beat the Bengals yesterday. So who figures, right? Now, Mitch, would you be okay with us switching gears for a second? I want to show you. My, what are you showing? I'm showing you over Zoom my new bedazzled Cougar uh, water jug. And going yeah. into Apple Cup this weekend, yeah. I was just wondering if I could get your take on what we might expect from this legendary longstanding matchup. My first take, Taryn, is this is the weirdest <laughs> Apple Cup. This is the weirdest situation. It is. I mean, it, it, first of all, the Apple Cup should not be played in September. No. Second of all, the Apple Cup should not be played at a NFL stadium. It should be either on the campus of Washington State or the University of Washington. Thirdly, it should not be on the Peacock Network. I mean, do, you even know, do you even know where to find the Peacock Network, Taryn? I, I mean, if I, I, if I, I gave you a compass it. and a map, could you find the Peacock What are you guys Network? talking about? You got the WWE on the Peacock Network. I can't believe you guys aren't watching that. Oh, boy. What, what does WWE stand for? The World Wildlife Environment thing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. About the pandas and stuff, of course. So it's just you got a team that's in the Big Ten against a team that has no conference. I mean, the whole thing is ridiculous. That being said, I, um, I'm, I'm curious to watch watch the game. I'm curious that uh, – I'm, ha I'm happy it's not on the Big Ten Network because that means those of us with Comcast can actually mm -hmm. watch the game. Right. Um, I'm not sure who's going to win the game. I think you're, you're – your uh, your Cougs are underdogs, Taryn, but I'm not sure they're not going to win the game. They certainly have played the better opposition. I think the, this past weekend's win over Texas Tech was a really good win for Washington State. Washington hasn't played anybody yet. We have no idea. So I think it's pretty much a coin flip. I would not be surprised if your Cougars, your bedazzled Cougars, TD, <laughs> somehow come away with a victory over Jet Fish. Although I thought going in that Jed Fish would start 4-0. So I guess I have to stand by my commitment because I'm not a weasel like Migsy putting on jerseys <laughs> at 90 years old. Um, but I, I, I'll stand by my Washington pick, but I think it's going to be a close game. I think it could be it's, it could be a game that could go either way on Saturday. Hey, speaking of jerseys, I do have to ask you a question about Russell Wilson. Can, can we talk about Russell Wilson, the fact that he was listed as inactive because of his calf injury, yet he was still on the sidelines in full gear, acting like he's ready to go in at any given moment? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess he tried in – I don't know the story, but I guess he tried in pregame to play. He was, he was supposed to be the starting yeah. quarterback. And then I guess pregame physically he, he didn't feel right, and they, they started Justin Fields. And so – 
Russell was on the sideline being a uh, being a backup quarterback, I guess, yesterday. But they didn't play particularly well against the Falcons, so I, I would imagine that as soon as he's ready, he's going to get the shot. I thought the most interesting thing, and I know you guys have to run, I thought one of the more interesting images from yesterday's week one in the NFL was Tyreek Hill. Did you see the Tyreek Hill story? Isn't yeah. that crazy? What exactly happened? I don't, I don't know that we know yet. I think we're going to find out today, tomorrow, what happened. My guess is he was driving recklessly right near the stadium. I know the area where he was pulled over. I know that area very well. There's thousands and thousands of, of pedestrians going into the stadium, and he's driving like a lunatic. And who knows what he said to the officers. I'm not, I'm not condoning the, the action. I don't know what he said or what he did to find himself face first on the pavement with four Jeez. officers around him in handcuffs. But... What a crazy thing to, to to happen on the way to the first game of the right in the parking lot of the stadium. I've never seen anything like that before. And then he goes out and he and he catches 130 yes. yards with the passes and a touchdown and they win the game. Like <laughs> it was nothing. So. And also yesterday yeah. we got to see the how illustrate illustrate how crazy New York football fans are. That I guess that that Giants game did not go very well for Daniel Johnson as people are leaving the game. They're taking his jersey off and setting it on fire outside of the stadium. I'm like, what the yes. hell? Those jerseys were ugly, by the way. Yeah, but Migsy, you'll notice that the people that were taking his jersey off, Daniel Jones' jersey off and, and getting rid of it, they were in their 20s and yeah. teens, you know, yeah. because <laughs> they that's growing up. They, they wearing jerseys. Yeah, they, they, weren't, they weren't old, no. you know, wrestlers in their <laughs> 80s trying to trying to bring back their youth and not not no. when it, not willing to let go they were they right. were young people all of us Thanks. midlife yeah. crisis football fans kept our jerseys yeah. on they're not yeah. that cheap we're, we understand the value of a dollar when it comes to a yeah. jersey yeah. yeah don't let them off the hook Taryn. do not let them you off know the i hook. won't the host of I'm, I'm, mitch I'm, unfiltered <laughs> mitch levy thank you so much for joining us this morning and people can Thanks. listen to your podcast wherever they get their podcasts or at mitchunfiltered.com Thank you, guys. Talk to you next Monday after 2-0 and against the Patriots. That's yeah, right. oh, wait, what's, what's your score prediction? Real quick. I haven't looked at it. I mean, yeah, we, I gave you that on a Thursday. Um, I'm just going to say I think the Seahawks will win. Okay. I think the Seahawks nice. will find a way to win their 2-0. How about Let's that? Let's go, Hawks. Love you, Mitch. Now, how would you like to beat Steve, Rockaholics? He has a record of 254 wins. Sorry, two. 254, is that right? Yeah. Holy cow. Recognize. I thought it was a typo. 254 in the W column. 73 losses and 43 ties in 2024. 206-803-ROCK. We will play Beat Migs at 750. Are you okay? No. The Daily Mix Show. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance, too, with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. 
We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance too with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see Unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. The Daily Mix Show presents the most popular radio game on this side of the speaker. Let's play Beat Mix. Beat Mix, don't be a loser. I know Don from Gig Harbor is. Don, are you there? I'm here. I'm Sarah, your host, and it's time for you to get out of here, Steve. Bye-bye. For those playing at home, Don has 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. You can pass all you want, but you only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? I'm ready. When it comes to freeways, what does the I stand for in I-90? Interstate. Correct. Which company invented the pumpkin spice latte? Starbucks. Yes. Who will be headlining the 2025 Super Bowl halftime show? Oh, I don't know. Pass. Crossroads of America is the official motto of what U.S. state? Uh, repeat. Crossroads of America is the official motto of what U.S. state? Uh, pass. What late actor co-starred alongside Zac Efron on the comedy 17 again? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Uh, oh, um, Chandler Bing. Uh, Nick Perry. Yes. What kind of alcohol is in a Kentucky mule? Uh, vodka. No. Uh, Kentucky mule. Kentucky bourbon. Correct. The man with the yellow hat is famously known for being in what book and TV series? George. Yes. What cosmetics company's slogan is because you're worth it? Maybelline? No. L'Oreal? Correct. Which is the only body part that is fully grown from birth? Oh. Uh, pass. Monster Energy Drink was first released in what early 2000s year? 2002. Yes. Yay. Don, you got seven correct. Ooh, I think there's some promise here. Ooh, and you got to all 10 questions. Yeah. So a solid 70%. It doesn't sound that good, but yeah, I have faith. Don, Don, he's our man. If he can't do it, Steve probably can. Oh, oh but not this time. Not yes. this time. Busting out the old cheerleading chops over there, T-Dog, huh? Uh, uh, Steve, are you ready? Oh, uh, yeah. 
When it comes to freeways, what does the I stand for in I-90? Interstate. Yeah. Which company invented the pumpkin spice latte? I'm going to have to get uh, Starbucks. Yes. Who will be headlining the 2025 Super Bowl halftime show? Oh, he's not like us. Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you did that. Yes. Crossroads of America is the official motto of what U.S. state? Crossroads of America. Minnesota? No. Um, North Dakota? No. Um... Wisconsin? No. What late actor co-starred alongside Zac Efron on the Comedy 17 again? Aye. Oh, what's her name? Uh, Tiffany Amber Thiessen. No. I don't know. Pass. <laughs> what kind of alcohol is in a Kentucky mule? Bourbon? Correct. The man with the yellow hat is famously known for being in what book or TV series? Tatum loves it. Curious George. Yes. What cosmetics company slogan is because you're worth it? Only fans. <laughs> no. I don't know. Um, Maybelline? No. L'Oreal? You do know, yes. Which is the only body part that is fully grown from birth? Teeth? No. Brain? No. <laughs> Maybe eyes. Yours. Eyes. Yes. Eyes. Woo! Come on. And with that, Steve, you got it's... seven correct, which is a tie oh. seven to seven. Great game, Don. Yeah, we're, we're tied up. I think I got a 2-1 and 2 record with you. <laughs> well, see you next time. Yeah. Crossroads of America is the official motto of what U.S. state? No clue. Indiana. Danny, oh. Indiana. Danny would have not yeah, have known. No, uh, one that he got correct, what late actor co-starred alongside Zac Efron in 17 again? You were thinking a woman, it's a male, and he oh. was in Friends. Oh, David, not David, uh, Matthew Perry. There we go. Okay. Yes. Oh, that's right. That was like a Freaky Friday wasn't it like yep. kind of like concept where they like swap bodies or whatever? Yes. It yeah. Was, it was a great movie. It was pretty good. I'm so impressed that you knew the eye. The eyeball is the only thing that stays. Isn't that Oof. trippy to think about? Yeah. Like you look at your kid now and you're like. Those eyes are going to stay the same size. Yeah, that, I think that's part of why though, they look so adorable because their eyes are so big. They got their big yeah, eyes. Yeah. yeah. And then one you didn't get to, Monster <laughs> Energy Drink was first released in what early 2000s year. 2001, 2002. There you go. Okay. If you got to that question, you would have won. Yeah. Too bad. So sad. Check out the new Daily Migs t-shirt. It is available in the rock shop. And if you grew up a fan of Beavis and Butthead, you are going to love this. Diarrhea, cha-cha-cha. Diarrhea, cha-cha-cha. <laughs> Big thank you to Justin Hunt. He is the artist who made the design possible. And you can head to KISW.com to get your hands on one today. Now, over the weekend, I was at Bike MS. I'm glad you're bringing this up because we did get a text message. And I, went, I, I don't know the answer, and I'm kind of oh. curious. The texter said, can we address the major question for this morning? How is Taryn Daly's no-no part? <laughs> well, we will find <laughs> well. out about that, plus how we did raising money for the National MS Society after Nirvana. The Daily Mix Show. Show. Over the weekend, there were a whole ton of cyclists up in Skagit County, Whatcom County, Island County for Bike MS. All the counties. All the counties. So many. I mean, it was a beautiful weekend. The weather was great. It the was. ride was awesome. And uh, we just had an absolute blast. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who has supported the KISW team. We have raised over $18,000. I would love to see us hit 20000 though. So if anybody wants to, you know... Help us get there. You can go to KISW.com for more info. But Obviously, our team, it hits you near and dear to your heart because your mom suffers from MS. Yes, my mom has MS. She's yeah. been dealing with that for about a decade and a half or so. And uh, yeah, there's, it's just it's wild to get together with so many people that are dealing with the same disease, but so many different versions yeah, of it. different um, ways and different family members. I, I can only imagine. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's just nice to get together and like, you know, have a, a weekend full of emotions and fun and drinking beer. And it, it was just a great weekend all around. And we have some audio from it, huh? We do have some audio Let's from it, go. Steve Miggs. Okay, friends, I'm hanging out with my friend Dick from Crucible Brewing. This is his first year really, really riding in Bike MS. I mean, you've been part of the team, but you had some injuries. This is your first year that you rode on the route. The question is, how is your no-no zone? Oh, the no-no zone hurts a lot. <laughs> right now, after after uh, 60 miles yesterday and another 27 today, I am hurting. <laughs> so what is the remedy for a busted no-no zone? Crucible beer. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's get some. So I'm starting to realize that this is just a reason for you to drink while also raising money for a great cause. He literally showed up with a cooler with five cases of beer in it. There were only 12, 13 of us that rode this weekend. I'm like, we are never going to drink all this. So to go back to the texture, I was wondering, how is your... (laughs) I feel weird even asking that. Sarah, can you ask that? It was literally the first thing I asked when she walked in this morning. I was like, Taryn, I don't want to know how you're doing, how you're feeling. I just want to know how the no-no zone is. Honestly, I was feeling... My legs felt good. Everything was fine. And then yesterday, I 
jumped back on my bike to ride day two, and I was like, oh, no. Grabbing my ding ding. It was not good. My ding ding. It was not good. No. But in today, I feel days. I feel better today than I did yesterday, but it was definitely a painful situation. <laughs> day two has just come to a close, my friends, and there were, what, six of us today that rode? Yeah. Six of us, yeah. But only two of us were on a tandem bike, and that was you guys, Phil and Laura. How was your first bike MS on a tandem bike? So you know, like one of those ones that have, like, a uh, tandem bike, duh, like the two seats. Yes, and they have a vintage one. It's like from the That's 80s, awesome. so it looks really cool. Yeah, it was dope. It was incredible. We uh, we had a blast. And what is it like being in the rear when you have to sit with Phil in the front? Does does, does he have any flatulence <laughs> issues to speak of? I think you had a text message. I got a text. Okay. <laughs> no, he does not eat beans because it's a texture thing for him. So that's yeah. lucky for me. Well, it's more than just beans that'll give you the farts. I'll tell you. Oh, that's yeah. my wife. It's all the things for Steve. <laughs> Pretty much anything I eat. And how did it feel taking the lead on the tandem? Uh, taking the lead or carrying the load? <laughs> I, I mean, it can be interpreted by. But no, it was good. It's actually a lot of fun. It's what, a, a it, lot more fun than you, than you think. No, I'm Tara Daly breaking up relationships, <laughs> asking these kind of questions. <laughs> Hard hitting questions. <laughs> All right, so I'm hanging out with Andrew, who is part of Team Expeditors. How much what? money did you guys raise this year? Uh, we we're at ninety two thousand, almost to ninety three thousand on our sixteenth year. What? Yeah. Wow. Nearly a hundred thousand dollars raised from his team. Yep. That's amazing. They're insane. Okay, okay. Well, KISW, we have like almost $18,000, so we're literally like nipping at your heels right now. You guys are doing awesome. Your community team, we're a corporate team, there's a difference there, and you guys are killing it for a community team, and we very much appreciate everything that you and your family are doing to help end this disease. You know it, baby. And the thing I really wanted to ask is, you, you've got sons, you have twins that are 12 yep. years old, and they got to actually physically ride in the event this year because they are 12. That's How great. was their experience? They had a great time. They were a little nervous because uh, they, they've been watching the Tour de France this year, and they thought the start was going to be that big cluster race of sprints, <laughs> and they were very relieved when it was just a, a a casual ride out. And I honestly would have thought the exact same thing. I thought you all like lined up at the same time and just went bonkers. If they kind of release them one team at a time. It's not too crazy. We, get, we get spread out. It's nice. It's not really a race. It's more just raise just money. Yes, gotcha. Yes. They knocked out 33 miles with their mom. Nice. They made it to Deception Pass. And they said they were done. Well, the fact that you're connecting the next generation with such an important event, thank you for bringing the kids into this awesome experience. we got to always bring the next generation of people into the fundraising and community support aspect of life. The most important thing you can do with your time is to give it to somebody else, and they are well on their way to learning that aspect of community and being a part of this family. So I'm very excited. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I'm teaching my kid how to leave daddy alone when he's on his cell phone. <laughs> Here, this guy's doing something really nice. It's very noble. <laughs> 90000 That guy is awesome. They were wild. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm so excited because I'm hanging out with Isabel, who works for the amazing National MS Society. Isabel, this has been an awesome weekend. Can you tell our listeners how much money this event has raised? The Bike MS Deception Pass Classic, celebrating 30 years. As of today, we have raised over $1.5 million this year wow. for the MS Society. That is so insane, and I'm so proud. Even, like, our team, I feel like, stepped up this year. We raised, I think we're over $18,000. We've never raised this much. Oh, it's been a... Oh, great. She was just like, yeah, but not as good as Andrew's team. Yeah, not as good as Andrew's team. Not even close. <laughs> Andrew's kid has got, like, 90000 there, like, buddy. Oh, 18000 That's so cute. That's adorable. <laughs> it's been incredible. We've seen so many teams have absolute banner years with their fundraising, including KISW. It's been so inspiring to watch you guys all. Well, thank you, Isabel. Thank you to the entire MS Society staff. You guys are the absolute greatest, and we'll see you next year. Oh, thank you, Taryn, and to the KISW team. We love you guys. That's awesome. They're the best. We love that team. Now, Linkin Park has announced they have a new lead singer. We knew it was coming, but also a new record coming out. Yeah, There's a new tour. Hell yeah. Many people are crazy excited about this, but as a shocker, some people are not so excited. Crazy pissed. So we're going to go straight to the comments at 820. The Daily Mix Show. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance too with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal.
Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. Everyone knows social media is a time suck. And what you're about to hear proves it. If it's online, someone, somewhere, has an opinion and is whining about it. So let's get straight to the comments. Linkin Park is back, and they are back with a new singer. Her name is Emily Armstrong, and she is from the band Dead Sarah. Which I did not even expect. that. She, I didn't even know she was on the radar, and I'm, I'm a fan of Dead Sarah. I, I love that band. Like I think they're really, really good, but I would have never thought, oh, that has a Linkin Park vibe. They don't have that kind of a sound. Totally different. Yeah. So they performed a concert that streamed online to kind of introduce her to all of the fans across the world, and they also debuted a new song. This is The Emptiness Machine. I love the song. I do too. I'm pretty fired up about her being the lead singer. And I watched the live performance. I'd say, I'd say like 90% of it, she nailed it. The other 10%, I'm going to chalk it up to nerves. And also, oh, yeah. nobody's ever going to sound like Chester on some of those songs. Nope. It's just, that's just way too high of a bar to set. But I thought, all in all, I was very entertained and, and, and excited for this new version of Linkin Park, for sure. They've got a new record called From Zero, due out November 15th. And many are happy to see them back, like you and I, Steve, while others not so much. So we will go straight to the comments. Yep, we sent a couple of these posts to our production director, Jason, and said, hey, pick out some of your favorite comments, reenact them however you want, just to illustrate how people get worked up over sometimes the dumbest stuff. Because at the end of the day, if you don't like this, you just don't need to listen to it. You can just move on with your life. You don't need to be a Linkin Park fan anymore. Like that's, that's my same argument with Allison Chains. But for those of us that would like to see the band continue, I'm excited. Oh yeah. All right. So here's our first comment. So let's see. It's a new drummer, a new guitarist, and a new singer. Is it even Linkin Park anymore? <laughs> yes. I mean, do you not know how bands work? I mean, lots of bands get new members all the time. I mean, yes. I'm not saying that that's like you'd like to see the original members stick together, but more often than not, someone always leaves. And so the drummer, he decided, I think he just, I don't think he ever really wanted to like do it again after Chester passed. I don't sure. think it had anything to do with, he kind of has been distancing himself over the last few years. The guitarist just doesn't want to tour. He's still in the band. Yes. So he's recording and writing with the band, but apparently even like, I think Mike from the band was just like, yeah, he just doesn't like loud noises, which is kind of <laughs> weird when you're in... Because he was the guy that wore those crazy big headphones that would block out all the sound. Oh, yeah. And I think he would have his 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 music mixed at a lower level, even in live performances, because like, the loud sounds were too much for him. Sure. So he just doesn't want to go on tour anymore, but he's still in the band. And, well, the other member died. Yeah. So what are you going to do? You're going to continue on. Only three of the six members are still there. <laughs> off. You greedy assholes. You can't have my money. There, I said it. 
Wow. Don't give them your money. How are they going to survive as a band without <laughs> that guy's money? They should just call it quits. <laughs> Chester would not have wanted this. You are disrespecting his legacy. Sure, because you're best friends with Chester. Right, like, why do you get to speak for him? And also his wife apparently was commenting and, like, giving nothing but lots of love to Emily and, and, and excited about this. I saw she posted a fire emoji. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that says it right there. Yep. Tell you what, she's hot. <laughs> well, I mean, not wrong, but I, hope, I don't think that's really. <laughs> she is. Okay, I mean, thanks, buddy. <laughs> I hope none of you ever want to find happiness after an unthinkable tragic day. And if you do, I hope. Johnny Bunch of Numbers finds you online to tell you to <laughs> off so you know how it feels. This is why I hate the internet. Yeah, I kind of went down that one. There's a lot of people also just like going off about, I guess, like her connection with Danny Masterson. They were calling her like a rape apologist because she's oh, friends yeah. with him and showed up originally. And it's like, I mean, it was like she didn't even have a chance to respond. And I don't know everything that's going on. And I think it's funny how the witch hunt starts without other people not knowing what's going on. But they're all like losing their mind about that. And then she eventually put up like a statement that just said, look, that was my friend. I didn't realize it. I'm, I'm paraphrasing. But basically, I that was my friend. I didn't know. And, and he was found guilty. And I haven't had any contact with him since. Yeah. And then, of course, that still wasn't good enough. Someone's like, well, I noticed that you just unfriended him on social media yesterday. And it's like... Man, we have a lot of free time if we're paying attention to who's following who. And also, apparently, she's like had like six posts over the last six years. So I don't think she's very active on social media. But, you know, and then the Scientology thing. I don't know if you heard about that. No. She's a Scientologist, apparently. And that was pissing people off. Oh, my gosh. I, I was just like, man, I, I, I don't understand, man. Like, I don't have that kind of time. I just want to play with my kid and listen to music that I like. I'm not going to be losing my mind over people and what... Uh. What what they whatever they're doing as long as they're not hurting anyone. But I mean I don't know the whole backstory and I don't think anybody really does. But of course people on social media are acting like they do. Yeah, that's enough social media for today. It was crazy, <laughs> dude. It was like it was kind of it was entertaining as an outsider to watch like how excited people were. And then when they found out that information, it was just like oh my gosh, it's a full on witch hunt. Oh boy. And and then she finally like not finally she addressed it like the next day. Yeah. Because I'm sure, like, she wasn't really keeping up on everything. And finally, people are like, you know, you're getting kind of, like, destroyed on social media because of the Danny Masterson stuff. And then she put up something, and people were like, that wasn't a good enough apology. And some people were like, well, she wasn't really apologizing. She was just saying she, that was her friend, and she didn't know the facts, and she supported him until, well, she stopped supporting him. Well, welcome back, Lincoln Park, and welcome, Emily. Yeah, welcome to the internet. <laughs> the halftime show is set, Rockaholics. Plus, Tom Brady made his debut as an announcer. We're going to tell you what's trending after Lincoln Park. The Daily Mix Show. Rockaholics, as you recover from the weekend and get your day going, you're probably trying to sift through the wild world of pop culture, and we are here to help you with that as we tell you what's trending. What's trending? Kendrick Lamar will headline the Super Bowl halftime show, and that is happening on February 9th at Caesars Superdome in New Orleans. The I'm show- not watching it now. Oh, I'm boy. done. I'm a Drake guy, so I'm not going to watch oh, it. Oh, we're picking sides I, already? I, I mean, aren't we supposed to? Isn't that, is. isn't that how the internet works? I guess so. The show is sponsored by Apple Music, and it will air on Fox. Here is his announcement. My name Kendrick Lamar, and I'll be performing at Super Bowl 59. Will you be pulling up? I hope so. You know there's only one opportunity to win a championship. No round twos. Let's get it. Boom! <laughs> I won't want you to miss it. No, I, I first wasn't paying attention. I, I was listening. And I was like, is he shooting a gun? And then I realized, oh, no, he's standing in front of one of those football thrower things. <laughs> so just kind of give a context for those that are listening. Like he's, you know, like those things that they use at practice where it's sure. like you put the ball in there and it just flings Washes the football it. out there, flies it out there. That's what he's saying. Nice. I was like, because I'm like, first I looked up, I'm like, what are we doing? What's going on here? <laughs> I won't want you to miss it. Meet me in New Orleans, February 9th, 2025. Wear your best dress, too, even if you're watching from home. Let's go. Again, sounds like a good one. It really does. Yeah, I'm going to be wearing my pajamas, probably. I'm sorry. I'm not going to get dressed up. I'm going to watch Super Bowl in my house. 
Definitely. Yeah. Although you were talking, Sarah's talking about wanting to go to New Orleans, or as he says, New Orleans. I'm not sure which is the right way. Dude, it's going to be popping It's going to be crazy. New Orleans is fun in general. Then with the Super Bowl, and now Kendrick is headlining. It's going to be insane. You should send Sarah. Well, I mean. Do we, I would love that. Th- by saying send Sarah, does that mean we have to pay for it? Because, yes. I mean, she can go. I do a little crowdfunding. You know, yeah. I'll, I'll, so I'll Get me down there, and I'll somehow try to get in. Or I'll get arrested either way. Or both. <laughs> hey, speaking of football, though, Tom Brady made his big, highly anticipated debut as a broadcaster for Fox Sports. I didn't watch the game. It was the Browns versus the Cowboys game. Did anybody watch it? No. Okay, I did see some people were, like, not happy with the level of his, of enthusiasm that he had. But we do have the moment where Kevin Burkhart, which is the guy that he's doing the broadcast with, announced Tom as being his guy that's going to be the dude in the booth. It is America's Game of the Week on a gorgeous Sunday afternoon from Cleveland and a beauty in this week one. The NFL on Fox is back with the Cowboys taking on the Browns and we say welcome to the broadcast booth. He's Tom Brady and I'm Kevin Burkhardt and you're a broadcaster. How about that? We're here. It's been quite a journey, but I love being your partner. I'm excited as well. It's going to be a lot of fun. Which is weird because Giselle then tweeted, said that he never said that to me. Oh. No, I'm kidding. She didn't say that. That was, that, was, that was just a bad joke. Sir, how about that? We're here. It's been quite a journey, but I love being your partner. I bet you do for uh, 10 years, $375 million. Ooh, That's what? what he's getting paid. So some people are like, he better up the uh, enthusiasm if he's going to get paid that much. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, well, speaking of big big dollars, Beetlejuice Beetlejuice made $110 million on its opening weekend. Dan, did you go? I did it. You're the guy. I did, yeah. No, we didn't go after all. Do you plan on going? Uh, we'll see. Well, there's a ringing endorsement wow. for something that you were so excited to go check out. I know. You know, honestly, I, I kind of got like some social anxiety thinking about going to the theaters and having the movie ruined for me. So I was like, you know what? I think I might just wait till it comes out on demand. For real? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I, got, I almost had like a little mini panic attack. We had tickets and everything and we just didn't use them. Wait, so what, are you fearful that you're there and then people are going to make the experience bad for you? I really don't like movie theaters, Steve. I Do don't you like, not like movie theater popcorn? No. Not really, and popcorn's fine, but I'll just eat it at home. I really don't know what to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you did get your Halloween costumes. I did, yeah. We did get the Beetlejuice Halloween costumes. So, you know what? We we contributed it to some way. What? You, you have to see the movie to dre- to be able to dress up like them. I'm well, just saying. Eventually. That's so so is, it, is the anxiety of not going to the movies, is it just being around people? I mean, because I, I do know some people that have had issues ever since, like, awful things have happened at movie theaters, obviously. And so there's some people that are still... Don't want to even put themselves in that situation, which I respect. I just don't like sitting next to people like for an entire movie when people are just talking and especially opening weekend. No, it's even worse in the middle of the day because that's when all the little kids go. Oh, you know what I mean? That aren't in school. And I'm just like, you know what? This is is too much for me. (laughs) (laughs) I love going to movies. Yeah. I think it's some, oh, mainly because I love having movie theater popcorn. So when was the last time you went to a movie in a movie theater, Steve? It's like five or six years ago. <laughs> oh my God. That, was, that was about the break that I had taken. I hadn't been in forever until we went to Cocaine Bear. And that was even a couple years ago now. Just because I haven't gone to a movie doesn't mean I don't love going to movies. <laughs> I love he's just throwing shade at Danny. Well, let's throw some shade at Steve and get somebody that can beat him this morning because I would love that. He's currently 254 wins, 73 losses, and 44 ties in 2024. 206-803-ROCK. We will play Beat Migs at 850. The Daily, the Daily Migs Show. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance, too, with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. 
We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance too with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see Unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. The Daily Mix Show presents the most popular radio game on this side of the speaker. Let's play Beat Mix. Beat Mix, don't be a loser. I know Justin from Bremerton is. Justin, are you there? I sure am. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm Sarah, your host, and it's time for you to get out of here, Steve. Bye-bye. For those playing at home, Justin has 60 seconds to answer 10 questions. You can pass all you want, but you only get three guesses per question. Are you ready? No time like the present. Let's get it. Yeah. How many cups are in a quart? Uh, eight. No. Four. Correct. What country was the late crocodile hunter Steve Irwin from? Australia. Correct. Who plays Astra Dietz in the newly released movie Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice? Uh, Winona Ryder. No. Uh, pass. What NFL team did Jason Kelsey play for? Philadelphia Eagles. They're my team. Go Birds. Whoa, correct. Madonna kissed Britney Spears and what other singer at the 2003 MTV VMAs? Uh, repeat the question. Madonna kissed Britney Spears and what other singer at the 2003 MTV VMAs? Ooh, Christina Aguilera. Yes. What fast food chain tells us that you rule? Burger King. Yes. What western state is officially known as the Silver State? Utah. No. Uh, Nevada. Correct. Karen, Will, and Jack are all characters on what sitcom? Will and Grace. Correct. What does the I stand for in a SIM card? 
Uh, image. No. Justin, you got seven correct, though. Boom. That was enough to tie earlier. It was. Do you think it's going to be enough shall see. to beat him this I, time? I feel like it's going to be Justin. I think so, too. Yeah. Danny, what do like you think? Positivity. Nah, it's Steve all day long. Oh. Yeah, yeah, look at him. Look at Steve. He's walking in here. He's going right. to beat He's gonna beat him. I'm going to start off strong. I like the Seahawks. And you guys keep are it going. S- such a bromance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought you said like start off strong like in the beginning of their game yesterday, and I was like, were we watching the same game? <laughs> but I get what you mean yeah, yeah, that yeah. they finally won. They figured it out, but yeah, <laughs> it took them a little bit though. I'm gonna try not to throw a ball to uh, an area where there's not a single Seahawk player. Dude, so, I, that, that was the weirdest thing. But that's a whole other. <laughs> it was all, yeah. <laughs> Steve, are you ready? And the safety, forget about it. Yeah, I'm ready. Ah, yeah. Hey, hey. Let's go, Hawks. How many cups are in a court? Four? Wow, yes. What country was the late crocodile hunter Steve Irwin from? Australia. Yes. Who plays uh, Astrid Dietz in the newly released movie Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice? Oh, uh, man. She plays Wednesday. Yep. Uh, Jenna oh. Ortega. Wow, correct. What NFL team did Jason Kelsey play for? The Eagles. Yeah. Madonna kissed Britney Spears and what other singer at the 2003 MTV VMAs? Uh, Christina Aguilera. Somehow I knew you would know that. Of course I what did. What fast food chain tells us that you rule? Oh, it always confuses me when they say that when I drive up because then it's another voice after I take, give them my order. It's Burger King. <laughs> it is. What Western t- state is officially known as the Silver State? California? No. Nevada? Correct. Karen, Will, and Jack are all characters on what sitcom? Uh, Three's Company. No. Oh. Um, uh, Jack, Carol, and Will show? No. <laughs> Will be gone. No. <laughs> what does the I stand for in SIM card? Interface? No. Internet? No. Image? No. Uh, Steve, wow. You got seven correct, which is another tie. Seven to seven. (sighs) Is it Will and Grace? It is Will and Grace. I even said Will. I know. Once I said whatever I said at the end, Will and Friends or something like that, I was like, it's probably Will and Grace, you idiot. Yeah, and Justin did get that one correct. Oh, good for him. (laughs) Nice job, Justin. I know. I was like, I was going to put Grace in there, too, and I was like, I can't do that because I already have Will in there. Um, One that you both got incorrect. What does I stand for in SIM card? Information? No. Oh, I figured it was. Identity. Ooh. Subscriber identity module. Wow. That's one of those things that you never think of. No, I just call it a SIM card. Yeah. Right? You never think of why or what it stands for, but now you know. Congrats on tying. Two times today. Wow. <laughs> KISW presents the Halloween Hullabaloo on October 13th at the Showwear Center in Kent. Dude, with God's, month. I know. Yeah. Oh, my God. I know. We got to get our costumes figured out. We sure do. Yeah. Godsnack and Hailstorm are on the bill. And if you want to go VIP, we have your shot at scoring VIP tickets. All you have to do is sign up to donate blood at the Showwear Center this Friday with Bloodworks Northwest. We have all the info at KISW.com, and you do need a reservation to make it happen. And you'll be entered for a chance to win those VIP tickets, Rockaholics. And now we have a simple question for you. The most simple of questions, but we need for you to call us up right now, 206-803-ROCK. And all we ask is that you are a Seahawks fan. And we promise it is a simple question. So this texter just texted and saying Seahawks suck, they probably shouldn't call. 206-803-ROCK. <laughs> Your calls after Foo Fighters. The Daily Mix Show. Yesterday, the Seahawks won their season opener at home. 26 to 20 over the Denver Broncos. And it was the debut of our new head coach, Mike McDonald. Yes. And I didn't get to watch the whole game, but it wasn't a pretty game. It was a win, but the offense struggled in the beginning. In fact, Gino summed it up best himself during a post-game interview. Yeah, I think that was about as ugly as you could start a game for us. Um, You know, we got to get better at that for sure. Yeah, it was tough (laughs) when you give up a sack right away and then an interception. Grant, like, they were coming for him right right off the get-go. But thankfully... They figured it out. They made the adjustments, and things were a lot better as the game went on. Well, at the, the third quarter was awesome. Oh, yeah. That was the quarter to watch where Kenneth Walker was just going bonkers out there. So this does lead us to want to ask a simple question of our Rockaholic 12s. And that question is this. Seahawks fans, how are you feeling? And we're going to start with Eric in Kirkland. Eric, how are you feeling about these Hawks? Feeling super optimistic about the Hawks. I'm, 
I'm saying start with one and end up with 17 wins this, this year. So just win them all. Stack them up, win baby. Them Let's go. One step at a time. How, how, dude, I have to say, like, I don't know how you were feeling, but, like, you know, I think the big question was how's this defense going to be? I mean, obviously, McDonald's known for being a, a defensive minded guy, but defense sucked last year. And then seeing how they were this year was like, I mean, great, one game, I know it's too soon to tell, but that's all we could, that's all we could base it on. And based on that one game, they looked phenomenal. Right? Defense is what Seahawks are made of, have been, and they make championships. So if they can make their defense this year, I can see that. I can see the championship. Wow. Let's go Hawks. Yeah, that's some serious optimism right there. I love it. I, I'm, I'm all about it. Do you think it's like Legion of Boom round two? I don't think that's fair to say. It's but it was, early. But it was fun seeing like Witherspoon run around. It was fun also seeing um, uh, Reek Woolen look more like his rookie season as opposed to his sophomore season. Again, it's all based on one game. The one thing I do want to give a hard time about our coach, our coach is awesome. I'm loving him. Well, first of all, my, I, I keep notes on my notepad because like, I'm like, I'll forget some stuff. So sometimes I, I, I like to write down notes. Can, can you read the, the first note that I put on there? This is the first thing that I wrote about Coach McDonald when they kept showing him before the game started. Coach's nipples. Cut glass with those things. <laughs> Did you see those? No. The turkeys were done during that game. You know, Steve, I was not paying attention to the nipples. I was looking at the actual game. Okay? Well, the game hadn't started yet. They're just like, here's <laughs> Coach McDonald. My boys, his turkeys are done. <laughs> He was just a little excited out there, but you know? I love after the game. He did have a good joke, but I do love the fact that he regurgitated it in different situations. So here he is in the press conference talking about the game, and he had this to say. If it plays. Great win. Started just like we wanted it to start. <laughs> Drew it up that way. Just wanted some adversity there. But um... Which I thought was really funny. So then he goes on King 5 later on, and he's being interviewed by Paul Sylvie and Walter Jones. They do a great job with the fifth quarter, and then this happened. Congratulations on Thank the big you. win, but what's it feel like, uh, you know? There's a lot, of, there are a lot of emotions. Well, I mean, I'd say the number one thing is just being proud of our guys. You know, I mean, the way we hung in there, I was telling you, you know, it's exactly how we wanted to start the game. We planned it that way. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> no, but I mean, the guys hung in there. We were poised, just so proud of our guys, and the atmosphere was electric. It was um, it was quite a day. It was a great day. It was awesome. And then Walter Jones did have a really good question where he showed a lot of love for the fans. Hey, hey talk about uh, the debate in front of the D12. You know what I'm saying? No preseason, but now you got a real game. How did it feel? Uh, it? Yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, it, they stuck with us the whole time, just like they, just like everybody told me. So we got the best fans in the world. I mean, it's. Uh, <laughs> That's how you endear yourself to this team, you and your strong nipples. Let's go, Hawks. <laughs> yeah. Now, we know you're a massive music fan, but do you think you could name a song after only hearing one second of its chorus? Prove that to us, and you'll win tickets to see Trans-Siberian Orchestra at Climate Pledge Arena on Saturday, November 23rd. 206-803-ROCK. We will play Hook or Shook at 920. The Daily Mix Show. Show. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance, too, with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see Unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available 
and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org slash Seattle. That's AFSP.org slash Seattle. The Daily Mix Show presents the Extreme Music Showdown. Let's play hook or shook. Please sign this waiver before we continue. Thank you. We'll drop a one-second snippet of the hook of a song. If you can't name the song, watch out. You're going to get shook. It's time to play Hook or Shook. Danny will play one second of a hook from a song that he picked, and you have to guess what it is. This week, we are playing for tickets to see the Trans-Siberian Orchestra at Climate Pledge Arena on Saturday, November 23rd. Oh, man. Say good morning to Mark from Tacoma, who is playing for those tickets today. What's up, Mark? Hey, how's it going, guys? Great. All right, Mark, you've got to get both of these songs right to win the prize. The first song, you'll be on your own kind of a little bit. And then the second one, this is where you can get shook because a member of our show at random has to get it right for you. If not, you will lose and caller nine will get the tickets. So let's see who you're playing with. Will it be me, Migs, or Sarah? Wheel spinning. Just past my name. Now it's on Taryn's name. I think it's going to stay on T Dog herself. Me. Yes, fresh off of right, Bike MS. Dog. All right, Mark, here is your first song. One more time. Uh, sounds like Rob Zombie. That is correct. Yes. Do you need a hint for the song? Dracula. Got it. Yeah. Didn't need the hint. Yeah. No pressure. Do not, do not ruin the Christmas miracle that could be Trans Siberian Orchestra. <laughs> Courtesy of Rob Zombie. My, my, my wife has always wanted to see them, so this is her awesome. opportunity. And yeah. it's our 24th wedding anniversary today. Wow. Oh, happy anniversary. happy anniversary. What do you have planned other yeah. than telling her you, you just won tickets to see Trans Siberian Orchestra? <laughs> well, that would be good. No, we're going to the fair with you guys, but it's going to be later. We're going to go see uh, Theory of Dead Man. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. They're playing tonight. It's a big day. Yeah. At the fair. All right, Danny, give me my clip. Oh, boy. Can you play that again? Uh, I think I might be able to help. Isn't, like, uh, the band's name, the second part of their name, another term for $100? Yeah. Ah. Oh, wait, wait. Is it Breaking Benjamin? And the song is... Is there a girl's name in it? The Diary of Jane. Let's go. Thank you for the assist on that, Nick. I I, I felt like... like, I'm not even a big Breaking Benjamin (laughs) fan, but I remember this one. This is a team effort, really. There's no integrity, especially when somebody's anniversary is on the line. Yeah, yeah there was no way we yeah. weren't going to help Mark win those tickets. Not like she would cancel our anniversary if he didn't win the tickets. But you know what? At least now you can go into it with some extra good news. What are you going to get? Hey, you go into the fair. What fair food are you going to get while you're there? Man, we go straight for pizza barbecue in the back. Ooh, that is a soft dude. Oh, let's go. That always smells so yeah, good. Yeah, you got to follow your nose, man. You can smell that all the way through the whole fair. Also, if I might recommend, it's my favorite place to go. I know we're going to stop there for sure. It's Lumberjack Popcorn's there, and you have to get their popcorn. It's amazing. Okay, I'll check it out. Yes. Congrats to Mark and his lady going to Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Now, if we have talked about something this morning, Rockaholics, that you want to talk about, call us up now, 206-803-ROCK. We will check in with the Rockaholics after Nirvana. The Daily Make Show. All morning long, we have received texts and calls from around the region that we have not yet had a chance to chat with you about. But the time has come, and we are checking in with the Rockaholics, brought to you by Lumen Quantum Fiber. Smart internet is here. So call us up now if there's something you'd like to chime in on from this morning's show or if you have something on your mind that you'd like to discuss. 206-803-ROCK. Rob in Arlington, your daughter McKenna just competed in the Paralympics and we need an update. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Good to talk to you guys again. Likewise, my man. Likewise. Uh, Well, she, before, before the, all of her training before the games... She was shooting out of the out of the world, and she had uh, some vision problems in her first two competitions, 
and didn't shoot as as well as she had hoped or as well as she, as she had been shooting in training. So she didn't make finals in, in either of those two events. And her her third event, which is a uh, uh, um, small bore, twenty two caliber, she did really well, but just missed the finals and and the medals. Now I think I saw somewhere she posted that she was like ended up with like number thirteen in the world. I mean that's still yeah. like ridiculously yeah. impressive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I got to talk to her. She finally flipped and called me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh she she was super happy with the way she competed and and how she did. Of course she was disappointed cuz she she actually she told me right before she left she expected to make finals in at least two of her events. What's but the- she represented the country the the country incredibly for for 12 years now so yeah, I was gonna say rob you have to be so freaking proud i mean and also <laughs> and, and i i don't know about you maybe because we talked to her and I was, it was a little bit more on my radar i felt like this year with peacock and also nbc like and, and some of the, the coverage i felt like the paralympics got a lot more uh exposure than past years absolutely they did yes and uh, to- tokyo was ridiculous she was Really disappointed. Everybody was disappointed with Tokyo, obviously, yeah. But she was super happy, super excited, and now she's going to retire and, and be the best mom mm. to my our only grandchild. <laughs> That's so awesome, Rob. Thank you for giving us so the, the update the, this the morning. The pride just continues to I run know. over the cup. That's awesome, man. That's yeah. so cool. 206-803-ROCK. We are checking in with the Rockaholics this morning. I'm glad someone just texted about this because I definitely want to get your guys' take. Someone said, Migs, what's up with the new Seahawks mascot? I don't know what is going on. And I honestly thought I had a weird dream until I got this text. I forgot about it because I was like, did I just have a dream about the Seahawks having a new mascot, but it's only in Germany? And that's exactly what's going on. They have a new mascot. His name is Bam Seahawk. Yeah. Letter C and then Hawk. And he's not. He doesn't wear number zero like Boom, but he looks kind of like Boom. But apparently, he's going to Germany, and he's just like a German mascot for the Seahawks. Because I guess in Germany, the Seahawks are a very popular team. Okay, but I don't know. Is he going to just live there and like hit the bars? <laughs> like, what's what's the what's the deal? You know, it seems kind of strange. That it's like we now have we've welcomed the new mascot according to their press release, Bam Seahawk. He'll serve as the team's international mascot. So apparently he's going to make his first international appearance on September 15th for a viewing party in Germany. Oh. So he is going to just hit the bars. I love that. That's the gig I want. It's part of their 12s Everywhere fan engagement program. Do you think that they fly out a guy? I, mean, that's, I, don't, I don't want to like ruin the uh, appeal or the illusion of mascots, but do you think they have like a guy who's going to be Bam or a girl and they fly them out to all these countries or they just find somebody that could be the mascot there and they just send the outfit to them? Oh, that's a good question. Because, I mean, it's a little cheaper just to send out a mascot suit than to send a whole person. Oh, well, then you have to have the same size person every place so that the costume fits. And are we the first to have a mascot that's really their job is just to hit other countries and party with fans from different countries? That seems so different. I kind of like it. It's random. (laughs) So now we've got Blitz, we've got Boom, and we've got Bam. Yep, Blitz, Boom, and Bam. (laughs) Rockaholics, it was a very exciting week last week for both me and Steve Miggs because our kids got to experience their first days of school, preschool and kindergarten, respectively. And that's why you were, we weren't here on Friday because you wanted to be there to, to watch Barrett get on the bus. Oh, yeah. Is, oh, my gosh. That's, that had to be so exciting for him, but just awful for you. Well, it was it was rough. There was yeah. a lot of tears. And preschool for Tatum. Preschool for Tatum, yeah. We're going to hear from her at 9.50. The Daily Miggs Show. On Friday last week, my son Barrett had his first day of kindergarten, and Migs, on Thursday, Tatum had her first day of preschool. Uh, big day to be parents, right? Oh, yeah. It was, was it hard to see it was Barrett awful. get on the bus? He was so excited all morning. The second he gets up on the bus, I start to lose it. I had to turn and look the other way because I just melted down, completely oh. melted down. And he's just on the bus being like, this is the greatest he's thing He's like, ever. bye, Mom. See you never. See you never. <laughs> 
but he did great. Well, Tatum, I, I, I was not able to be there when, apparently, though, I'm, it, it probably wouldn't have mattered anyway, because Sid's like, yeah, I got there, and she just kind of ran off, and the teacher had to grab her so that I could get a picture with her, oh. because she just was so fired up to go to school and didn't even care, but obviously got to see her later on in the day, and we're just BSing while she's eating something, because that's all she does in our house, and that's usually when I get any kind of conversation with her to get some audio, and I decided, yeah, let me go check and see how, how she was feeling after her first day of school, and here's Tatum giving us a, a big review of day one of preschool. That robot dog is cute. Yeah, that robot dog is cute. Oh, yeah, she saw a robot dog <laughs> online. I was like, what? I don't know. Now she wants it. She won't stop talking about this thing. Like, anytime, she, she's such a manipulator. Like, we'll just be talking about whatever, and she's like, Daddy, did you see the robot, robot dog? Check your email. <laughs> and I'm like, what is it? She doesn't understand what email is. <laughs> she's just, she just, like, Amazon.com is email. Oh yeah, the the web the, the World Wide Web on your cell phone is email. So she's always like, just like, Daddy, check your email. I'm like, oh. <laughs> probably because every time she's like asking me a question, she's like, what are you doing on your phone? I'm like, I'm checking my email because I, I am. Finish this email. <laughs> yeah, so that, that that's what she was talking about. <laughs> Do you want it? Yeah. Did you have fun at preschool yesterday? Mm-hmm. What do you like doing there? The playground. You like the playground? Did you make new friends? Yeah. A lot. <laughs> you made a lot of new friends. She's very popular, like her father. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's, she's a it real skips social a generation. You might have skipped a couple generations. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. You made a lot of new friends. A billion. A billion friends. <gasps> Were they all nice? Yeah. Who was your favorite? I don't know yet. You don't know yet. Maybe everyone. Maybe everyone. That's so sweet. What else did you do while you were there? Yeah, she's sweet. No, like, like her mom. Yeah. Yeah, she definitely got that from mom. <laughs> what else did you do while you were there? I played with a baby. You played with a baby? Yeah. Was it a real baby? No. <laughs> Did you like your teacher? Yeah. What more can you ask for? That's about as much as I'm going to get out of her. She made a billion friends. She took care of a baby, and she likes her teacher. That's a big day. And wants a robot dog. I like that she mentioned the playground, though, because that's what Barrett, when I asked him how was kindergarten, he said, we had two recesses. That was all, that was all I got. Two recesses. <laughs> what? Yeah. Apparently, they get two recesses, and that was the big highlight. How was he when he came back? Was he exhausted? No, not really. And then he had a little buddy come over for a minute on on Friday, so they kind of played together. So he was wired. He was fired up. Because according to Sid, when she picked her up, and Grant, this is just a half day, so like they were done at noon. And apparently, like, Tatum did not speak for like an hour. And so Sid was worried, like, something go on like like is what, what is she upset and then eventually she just found out no she just was so exhausted apparently they just go and go hard the entire time they're there it's just like non-stop playing non-stop activities and it took a couple of hours before like Tatum could kind of like become normal again like she was just so worn out our kindergarten teacher sent out like a basically a warning email like this week is the first full week of kindergarten your kids are going to be totally wiped out so be prepared <laughs> Enjoy it while you can with the, the playgroundness and the wearing them out. Because Lily, on the opposite side of the spectrum, who's finishing uh, elementary this year, she's in fifth grade. I was like, hey, that's a pretty cool playground. Do you like it? And she goes, Dad, we don't play on the playground anymore. And I was like, well, what Only do you do? losers do? play on the playground. What we do smoke you- cigarettes on the playground. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I was like, what do you do on, at, at recess then? She's like, walk around and talk. And I was like, about what? Boys. And I was like... Ugh. Oh, okay. Well, cool. <laughs> Good luck, Danny. Unfortunately, still no new, no boyfriend yet. Yes. Because a couple of texters, remember, they were warning me, like, hey, be prepared. She's going to come back. I mean, they don't know what that even means, but like, she's going to come back with a boyfriend. No boyfriend, so we're good still. Stay away. They're yeah. scared of her dad. Look at you. No, I, I, obviously, I'm new to this whole thing, you know, with preschool and all that. And I don't know how they do it now with, with, with Lily, but I thought it was kind of cool. The preschool sends you, like, a, a, we have an app. Oh, yeah. 2024, of course. Yeah. Uh, but you get, like, the alert that just says, Tatum has checked in. And then Tatum has checked out. And I'm like, that's cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, I don't know why. I just think that was so cool. Like, you know, as a worried parent that's at work, I don't know what's going on. You know, I mean, I get texts from Sid, of course. But it was, like, kind of nice to at least get that little alert. I don't get an alert necessarily with an app, but they'll call me if there's an absence. Oh. And I also I'm like, why is why is this school calling me this early? And then I listen. I'm like, okay. So then I text her mom. Do you know Lily's out? Oh yeah, she threw up this morning. Okay, mm. cool. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it would be funny. If, like, you get an alert and just says Lily's talking about boys. <laughs> like, Son of a bitch! I need to delete this app. Over the weekend, our Seattle Seahawks won, and new coach Mike McDonald experienced a rubdown from a former player during the game. You're going to hear from Mike during the Daily Migs download after Van Halen. 
The Daily Mix Show. Knowledge is power. So give us five-ish minutes and we'll give you, uh... Some interesting stuff you can talk about at work. This is the Daily Mix download, aka the DMD. Here's your daily dose of doings happening in the world. And our friend Ryan Castle is here. Ryan, we are headed to the Washington State Fair after the show. No way. What yeah. would you say is the ideal fair food for you? Oh man, it's got to be elephant ears, right? Oh. Elephant ears, great pick. Put yeah. it on the list. Yeah, or uh, fun- funnel cake, mm. crusty pop. Ears. What about the crusty pop? Sure. You know, my wife and I were talking about it over the weekend. You know, we lived in the Midwest for a while, and while I love the Washington State Fair, if you go to the fair in like Minnesota, Wisconsin, oh, it's a whole different Iowa, vibe. It's a different level. It's I, insane. Yeah. I watch those Food Network shows, and you're right. Washington State yeah. Fair is awesome, yeah. but it's like a whole other experience. Yeah, like you have it's to, a way of life. You have to fast for a month to get ready for the fair <laughs> in the Midwest. It's, it, it's insane. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Also amazing. Oh, DMV is brought to you by Palace Law. Also amazing. You're a Seattle Seahawks. It's a tale of two halves, at least with the offense. The defense was great the whole game. Offense looked awful in the first half. Turned it on in the third quarter, which was awesome. And ushered in the Mike McDonald era as the brand new head coach with a win to start off the season. So they're 1-0. But the strangest part of the game had to be early in the game. I don't know if you were watching it, Ryan. But at some point, Marshawn Lynch was on the field. And he got up behind our brand new coach, Mike McDonald, while he's still coaching during the game. And gave him a rub down. Just sort of rubbing his shoulders. Who gave him a field pass? <laughs> you know, you can see Mike's look on his face was like, what in the F is going on? And then they just start laughing. And then there's a moment where you're like, oh, yeah, I'm still coaching. I got to worry about this game that's happening right now. And after the game, Mike McDonald did his press conference. And somebody did ask him about beast mode, rubbing him down. Yeah, I've never had a former player talk to me mid-game. It's pretty cool. I was like, you know, we have like another three quarters to play. <laughs> but just to see those guys around, I mean, it's awesome. I mean, he's... Uh, he's one of my favorite players of all time. I mean, he's he's incredible. Yeah, he's funny. He's cool. Like, he came out right behind me, and, and I found myself talking to him as they were taking the field. I like, go, oh, shoot, I need a call on first down. What did he say? On a side, he's talking about our defense. Is that your first in-game necro? Is that what he did? Yeah, I guess I blacked out. <laughs> Strong hands, that in-game neck rub from Beast Mode. At least like I mentioned earlier, he did not grab this. Grabbing my ding ding. No, because that would have been a lot more awkward with our brand new coach. Seahawks up next. They hit the road. They're taking on the New England Patriots who are fresh off of beating the, the Cincinnati Bengals. Mm-hmm. Nobody thought that was going to happen. That game will be early at 10 in the morning. The Seattle Mariners scored five runs yesterday in the first inning and then won 10 to 4 over the St. Louis Cardinals. Yes. Ended up winning the series and then the Astros lost yesterday. So the Mariners are four and a half games out. So you're telling me there's a chance. They are off today and we yes. host the Padres starting tomorrow. Let's go, Mariners. This is our year. Is it? It certainly no. is. I mean, go Hawks. <laughs> hey, the weather, we're going to hit a high of 71 degrees and cloudy. And like you mentioned, we're going over to the Washington State Fair. We'll leave it right after the show. So if you're there early, be on the lookout for us and be sure to say hi. We're going to have a blast, eat some fair food. That's going to be a good time. Uh, that is the DMD, and that's what's up. Ryan Castle is up next with the Morning 12 Pack. The Daily Mix Show. Show. This episode is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, You call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance, too, with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for car insurance, and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Terms and conditions apply. For full details, see unlock.com slash legal actor portrayal. Lisa, thanks for having me over. Your new kitchen is gorgeous. How did you find the money to do it? We worked with this great company, Unlock. They help you unlock the future value of your home to get the cash you need today. So it's a home equity loan? No, it's not a loan at all. There's no monthly payments and no interest charges ever. And you can use the money however you want. We were able to redo our kitchen and pay off our credit card debt. Wow, Jack and I could really use this to finally pay off our old student loan debt. How do I get started? It's easy. Just go to their website. Go to unlock.com slash radio to unlock the value in your home and get up to $500,000 in cash with no monthly payments and no interest ever. Pay off debt, improve your home, add to your retirement fund. It's up to you. Go to unlock.com slash radio right now to see if you qualify to unlock the value in your home. That's unlock.com slash radio. Go to unlock.com slash radio. 
Hey, it's Doug. Suicide is something that affects all of us, and we can all play a part in saving lives. Make a difference in your community by walking out of the darkness with us on Sunday, October 13th at Fisher Pavilion at Seattle Center. Help spread awareness and understanding. Send the message that help is available and raise funds for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Register today at AFSP.org Seattle. That's AFSP.org Seattle.